Hey guys, today we have this 2016 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited and we're going to be doing a basic oil change and probably um, rotate the tires as well. Alright, let's get started. <laughs> Before we lift the car up, go ahead and open the hood. Alright, and I'd like to put some light underneath so you can see everything. Alright, that's what we have, that's what we're going on. And then, what I normally do this I would open this cap so you can see remove for all filter service so that's gonna be for our filter that one and I'm gonna go ahead and open this up this is for the um, to put the oil in so we'll be using a 5w20 as you can see here and we've been using a mobile one here 5W20 and we do have a filter which is this one from all filter this is XG1665 alright and we can lift this up so we can drain the oil underneath Once it's lifted up, we're gonna go underneath here. This truck has a all these guard metal guards underneath. We installed that actually. Uh, that's pretty good guards all the way out there. So, but there's an access hole where you can get the oil drain in there. Let's see if we can focus just a little bit. So that one, that our access hole right there. And that is size 13. So size 13 millimeter. This is size 13. And we're gonna lose this. <coughs> there you go. Once that's loose, loosen, we do have a drain pan. We go ahead, extend that just a little bit. This is a little bit high, high actually, but hopefully we catch this and doesn't spill a lot of oil. So we're gonna use our hand. It's gonna be a lot of oil. Check this out. It's gonna be a messy. It's coming out. There you go, and that's a draining. As you can see, it's a bit mess. Make sure you have a rag. Spill a little bit in the floor, but that's fine. The reason why we opened the the, um, the cap from the top, from under the engine, on top of the engine, so all this will be drained out. So wait till all this drain out. Then we can reseal it and the good thing with this they have this uh, cartridge filter we're gonna access that from from the top so that's make sure you got that one if you want you can add some oil from the top so it will drain all the old ones top just a little bit of oil so you can drain some of the old ones and then after this I'm gonna go ahead and um, put this back tie it and then we're gonna go from the top so that's drained pretty good so we're just gonna snug tight it not too tight 
you don't want to lose string or ruin the threads okay that's good and then we're gonna get out of the underneath so you can see here that's all the oil old oil that we have and let's get out of here before we actually drop the whole car I'm gonna go ahead and um, rotate the tires that's the first thing I'm gonna do before I drop the whole thing because this needs a rotation tire rotation so I'm gonna rotate the tires crisscross because this is kind of like oval drive so I'm gonna do crisscross rotation before we continue Just to make sure. So that's good to go. Then we're gonna go ahead and drop the whole car so we can put two wood in it. Alright, so to get the filter out, you're gonna need a size 24. Um, millimeter socket which to remove the this axis hole here and this is size 24 there you go so from here you can see there's a little that's for the filter put it in there let's go ahead remove that you go counterclockwise there you go once that's loose that should come out pretty easy so I like to put my rag here so it doesn't have any oil dripping let's put it aside the there there you go look at how dirty that is see it that's a really dirty filter so we have a brand new filter right here and it, ha it comes with new gasket so that's the old filter we're gonna pull that out that's it I'll set this at aside Set aside and get a new rag. I like to clean this up. Clean this up. Clean that as well. We're gonna remove the old the old gasket. This is pretty good. Uh, they come to me like a regular old change here to keep the car maintained. And then get a new gasket comes with the pack your filter and you put it on this second notch here let's go ahead put the new filter as well lock it in there 
and I like to clean the neck where you insert this photo here just clean it so it won't be too dirty let's see what it look like in there see that I like to clean that one there you go so before we actually um, put the filter back with the engine oil I'm gonna dip a little bit of oil here and let this gasket rubber gasket just wet just a little bit so it will spin and seal pretty good let's put a little oil there insert it then hand tight it and tied it first. This is the old filter. Let's remove that in a way. So I'd like to put a um, hand tight first. 24 so 24 millimeter socket. Tied it by hand. And then once you can go tight by hand, I'm gonna go ahead use my ratchet. Tied it clockwise and um, it doesn't have to be really tight in this one as long as there you go tighten there I'll go ahead a little bit more turn that's it I'm done with that clean this up close this close this up then now time to put a an oil on the to the engine. So the oil is right here. Put this neck like this one. Little funnel. Put this funnel in. So we won't make any mess. There you go. Then we're using the 520 mobile one 520 5w20 if you have a little bit drip just make sure you just clean that up okay so once it's filled up we're gonna check if it's full, we're going to use the dipstick and then we should be done. Alright guys, that should be okay. I'm going to warm it up and then check how much level we have. That should be good. I'm just going to check if it's, it's full or not and then that should be done. Put it back. Alright. There you guys, and that's how you do the oil change for this 2016 Grand Cherokee Limited, and we rotated the tires. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Very simple process. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time.